Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about SPT. So first of all, what is SPT? So SPT, which stands for Scala Build Tool and which is formerly used to be known as Simple Build Tool, is an open source build tool for Scala and Java project. Now, first of all, we need to understand what is a build tool. So a build tool provides a facility to compile, run, test and package your projects. And SBT is such tool. Now in the category of uh, build tools, you may have previously known um, Java, Maven or Ant and SBT falls in the same category. Now if you are familiar with C, Make is such a build tool also. Now, SBT is a modern build tool. While it is written in Scala and provides many Scala convenience, it is a general purpose build tool. So you can uh, create, for example, Java projects also with SBT. And it's really popular as a build tool for creating and maintaining Scala projects. That's why it is a de facto build tool for Scala. Now, when you will visit Scala official website also, they recommend SBT as a build tool. And when you will install SBT on your operating system, you don't need to install Scala separately. So if you have SBT installed, then you will be able to uh, build and run Scala project automatically on your operating system. Now let's talk about some of the most important features about SBT. So SBT have native support for compiling Scala code. As you already know that SBT uh, is written in Scala. SBT uses Apache IV for dependency management. That means it also can support the Maven format repositories. So if you want to use Maven format repositories in your Scala project, SBT will enable you to do that. Now, SBT uh, works on the principle of only update on request model. That we will see later when we will create our Scala project using SBT. Now, SBT has full Scala language support for creating tasks. And also, if you want to create mixed Java and Scala projects, SBT supports that also. Now, when you install SBT, it comes with REPL or read eval print loop. Now REPL is a simple interactive computer programming environment that takes a single input, evaluates them and return the result. So if you want to test any small functionality about Scala, REPL or read eval print loop will help you immensely. So these are some of the most important features about SBT. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can install SBT on your operating system. So stay tuned and please rate, comment, and subscribe and bye for now.